Just because I ignore something at the moment doesn't mean I've forgotten. When you're in your natural state, you don't forget nothing. And anytime you want, you just travel through time to go look at it again. The same way you even do in the body. Your memory, very little of that is actually stuck in cells in your brain. You actually come out of the body, you go look at something, and you say, okay. Your ability to do that enhances your quote-unquote memory. These philosophies of uh, this insan the insanity of the law of attraction... Let's take a quick look at that, okay? I mean, just a realistic look. Now, somebody might say, realistic look? Jake talks about stuff no one else can see. Actually, there are some people that can see it. There are some other beings here that are source energy. Actually came from Lily and Ara. Beautiful, loving energy, very strong. Uh, some of them got issues like everything else, okay? And being source is no better than anything else. And some, As a matter of fact, it carries more problems with it than it does anything else. But it is a very higher, a much higher power level. A level where there's so many changes coming. That's what's cool. And you'll see this with your own two eyes, physical eyes. You'll see it with the uh, uh, pineal gland, with the pineal. You'll see it with the scanner. You'll know about it from infu just knowledge, direct knowledge comes in through your crown. You'll feel it with your heart. Lily's on me, uh, on me a little bit in a very nice way. Um, to, uh, or yeah, to get going, um, but to see something about the drug, um, little birds even. See, see. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, it's just Lily feeding message through the bird's uh, release of its frequencies, where it's actually doing something of its own, but the message comes through it. Sometimes, you know, people you'll be relaxed and you hear music. That's just to calm you down and relax you. You can smell a smell that, you know, I smell roses, but there's no fresh roses in the house. That's your, your brain, your memory being touched, the smell of the rose. The same way your senses are touched when you smell, the way your senses move in your body when you smell it, that can be reproduced, okay? So, I guess that's it. So anyway, karma is something that's gonna, is what's gonna, is source energy that's gonna be making things happen to back you up. It's not the universe. People talk about the universe. That's a little piece of one dimension. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Folks, creation is huge. But you know what? You know where it all starts? You know where you get to see it? Relaxing and flowing inside. And once you go inside your brain, relax, you can open up and go out everywhere. the middle of the brain, around the hypothalamus and stuff around there, you can relax and softly go out and flow out everywhere. You're doing it through the heart all the time, solar plexus does it a good bit too, but if you do it through the brain, then the conscious mind can actually see some of what's going on. That's why it's important for it to happen there so you can have a physical memory of it or, you know, relate to it and see it. Imagine that. Is that simple? Hell yeah. I've never been good at that doing a day thing and a memory, and I, I really don't care anymore. Um, right now, my head, like I said, is killing me. Um, when I go, it's probably going to be everything at one time. But anyway, uh, uh when you, the more you can see and, and feel and understand, the more it's simple to become aware of. I mean, it, it's the easier it is to understand things. That you have to see it. You have to feel and experience it. Our experiences give us our understandings. The more experiences we have, the more um, uh, understandings we have, the greater our collective pile of wisdom. Um, Folks, you don't want to just use your metaphysical ability. You should want to use all of you. Anyway, that's the room cards. <clears throat> How do you talk to someone about who they are, what they can do? Um, 
when they're just starting to learn who they really are and what they can do. Well, you give them all the information you can, do what you can to help them become themselves, and then leave it to them, because isn't that their choice? Yes, exactly. I give you information you can do what, what you want with it. But anyway, back to the cards. That's a very... Um, tarot cards, all kinds of different cards. They're fine. Forget trying to divine the future, okay? Everything's so crazy. Chaos on the other side, it's insane, okay? Uh, there's no control of everything. There's a thousand people, just for example, if it's more, but let's just say there's a thousand people trying to run things in people's lives. None of them know what they're doing. None of them have anything put together. And a lot of them are just taking out aggressions towards uh, others for uh, past life issues. You think you don't carry your memory? Whoops. You think you don't carry your memories and issues home with you? Yes, you do. Get that thing out of there. Um, that's why you need a lot of time in between lives. This day and age, for the length of the human life, you should have about 125 uh, years, excuse me, in between lives <clears throat> to allow your emotional frustrations and stuff to dissipate from your energy. And so he's always had his fear of me. He didn't understand, and I told him about it when we were talking. And then, you know, when you do that, when you see what's bothering you and why, how, Usually a little better than 90% of it goes away. So please uh, think what you want about what I say, but please listen. It'll go into the back of your head, right here. Storage memory banks. It, the thought, energy of the thought is right here. And that's right back below and under the crown. And uh, you'll find out what I'm saying is true. And you will eventually understand there's a real reason to have hope. There's a real reason to have faith. Not faith in me, faith in everything turning out okay, all right? Maybe sometimes it helps me when I see things, understanding what I'm seeing and knowing it when I don't have much of a conscious mind and I can't, you know, like the regular memory. Because when you keep seeing things with a fresh mind, then, you know, you're not lying. Sometimes when I talk with people, I'll tell them the same thing twice because it's a strong, prevalent thing in front of them. A couple of my friends get really pissed. This one lady, she goes, you tell me that already. You know, she's a good friend of mine. She goes, you tell me that already. I'm like, calm down, calm down. I haven't seen her in a long time. The original box has said like 47 um, cards in there. There's not, there's 56. You know, we've added more and just finished it up. And then here they are. So, uh... The cards look pretty much like that inside. Uh, anyway, uh, that's to help you learn how to talk with your spirit guides, uh, how to uh, how to become yourself, how to come out of your body enough to look back at your body and realize it's a, a vehicle that you're in, to see the different parts of you in it. Your DNA has memories from the uh, different uh, the, from the bodies previous to it. Uh, Come, all coming together. There's, it's like a um, reactive type of memory. Um, the uh, spirit from the planet that's inside you has had different lives and different bodies. It has different hang-ups. It has different knowledge sources, um, different memories. It's spirit. It's sentient energy. It's a second mind within your body. And you're the larger part of it. And you have experiences from the past lives you've had. My last life was Gandhi. Okay, there's parts, pieces of Gandhi that's in there. Um, uh, it, it was I was the main part of the spirit within him, but the the planetary spirit that was in that body is different than what's in body. And this, what what was in this body, it's gone now. It's already been taken out. Same thing was done with Herky. Same thing's going to be done with the source that's here to help you. And at the same time, it's being taken out from other people because uh, um, and and you know, from everything. There's no need for it to be tortured like that. Hieroglyphics, uh, trying to talk through picture imagery or talking through picture imagery. I say trying because <coughs> um, there needs to be a basic understanding of symbols. Uh, when, two, when you just walk up and try to read hieroglyphics, 
it's not the easiest thing in the world to try to understand. I just remember some of that stuff. That's all. Um, anyway, all that being said, what you want to do as, as you start seeing and feeling things, you want to just let it be what it is and then understand what you're seeing. And then you're developing your own way of understanding and seeing, your own language, visual language of understanding. Um, sometimes you see family members come back and you'll get a good picture of it. Um, you know, they just come to you to talk to you. You see the image. It might be something out of memory. Um, uh, it's, you know, when you, your spirit, sentient energy, your true self, not stuck in a body, you can go to someone else and go up to their head, go into the brain, softly leave a you know soft image. Um, so anyway, there's stone energy you can use to help enhance this. Okay. When you see when you're solar plexus orientated, that's mean, meaning that that energy field is the strongest within your body, that's stronger than the heart or the pineal. When you're solar plexus oriented. You use your gut feeling about things. You get information that comes through the crowns, okay? It goes through the core into the hypothalamus and then through the crowns out of your body. Also, to go into the field. Um, also, from the hypothalamus, you go through the scanner. Uh, the, yeah, the scanner right here. This is where you remote view. People who can remote view have an incredible, usually have an incredible memory because they can go back in time and see something very clearly. It's like HD, you know, high definition imagery. Okay, folks, I have next to no memory. Okay, there's no room in my head for basic stuff, and then I got to go back through time and look at it, and I have problems because I'm doing too much other stuff. So now, there's another form of uh, past life issue, but it's a reactionary thing okay there's a certain amount of memory actually a pretty good bit in everyone's DNA okay the little teeny building blocks that make your body the military's done this the government's done this Individ individual uh, um, scientific uh, groups and stuff have, have tested this stuff out you can take a uh, some DNA out of someone uh, even uh, 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 a sample out of the inside of the mouth and uh, put it in a, in a container uh, put it in five containers put it in different rooms even across the in another country across the ocean and you synchronize the exact time and the main person where the DNA is, that where the DNA came from, if that person all of a sudden feels shock, you can see his DNA react right next to him, okay? And then the other containers that have DNA in them, it's going to react the exact same way at the exact same time. There's no lapse in time the way we were capable of recording time. Is there a lapse? It's yes. Is it so small we have no way to measure it? Yes. How the hell does that happen? That's fast. That's DNA connected with itself, okay? It's still part of that same energy. That's Thank so, you. That's how it's pretty much instantaneous. I mean, as far as any way we have to measure, it's instantaneous. The amount of lag there cannot be measured. Um, but there is one, just to, just to let you know. Um, uh, so anyway, that's why it's reacting the same way. If it's stress, it, it'll bend this way, that way it like curls up. It, does, it, it, it reacts exactly the same, as long as it's still alive, okay? So anyway, um, the uh, DNA is a long lifespan too. Um, so the DNA has memory built into it. It remembers. Um, spirit remembers past lives. There's a re it's a reactionary 
type of memory. When you animals, they see something, they can immediately react to it. That's because all the bodies previous to it have had that, that issue. A lot of them have a strong reaction against man, except those that have been domesticated, quote unquote, what a nice term, um, uh, for so many generations. Remember that, you know, they'll have sometimes seven lives to all one. So um, they uh, developed this quickly. So anyway, uh, it's most of animals when they see man, they're like, "Ooh, danger! Watch out!" You know that comes from experience. Another sad thing. Anyway, see, creation screwed up. It was made to be this way. <clears throat> We're the ones that are going to change it. Okay. Uh, big stuff. Like I've always said, don't worry about that. That's going to be taken care of for you. But there's a big job out here uh, with each other, face to face, our personal, physical community. Um, there's a lot of people that will be here working on that, you and uh, some others. So anyway, um, it's a reactionary situation, but it still exists. It's something that's encoded into everyone's DNA. So you have reactions to stuff in your life that come from past lives, and then you have memories of past lives from the two different uh, uh, spirits within your energy, within your body okay embedded in your energy core your kundalini so that's where past lives come from past life issues and the reactionary ones that's kind of like you know you'll just jump or you know boom boom have something real quick and then just stop just relax and just see how you feel about it use your heart your gut whatever um, you can try to see what your pineal the heart might be the strongest thing here but you know, it doesn't matter. It all depends on, <coughs> excuse me, it all depends on your core orientation. The, uh, the which energy field within your body is the strongest. Uh, the core is always the strongest, but it, it's what energy, separate uh, energy field, that is uh, the next strongest issue. That's your core orientation. Then that issue, you know, predominant energy, power level, uh, heart, uh, solar plexus, and we say pineal, it's the head, but it's pineal. Um, well, that's why there's a lot to look at it. Don't let that be overwhelming. Take your time and just, uh, you know, uh, you eat a meal one bite at a time. Uh, you learn math, um, one basic mathematical function at a time starts with simple arithmetic and subtraction and it goes into logarithms and you can go into physics blah 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 so uh, that's where it comes from as you keep awakening and getting stronger you're gonna develop these abilities and folks it's already in you your ability to see this stuff feel it to understand it to separate it to see it individually that's part of you. It's a natural part of you. Just relax, go inside yourself, let it go. Let yourself out. Um, this body's dying. It's obvious to many people, but m to no one else more than myself and my doctors. Um, I'm very well aware of what's happening in my body, but I'm also aware of what's going on out of my body. Folks, I have moments I can't hardly walk and I can't I don't even want to go out anymore because when I do, I'm so, it's like being a deadbeat. I mean, I'm just there, you know. Um, it's nice to see folks, but it, it's, um, you know, it, it's when you really can't enjoy it, you know. It's just every once in a while, I just need to get away for a second. Um, but as tired and sick as I am, um, I'm stronger than I've ever been. It's hard for me to be consciously active, but it's easy for me to do the energy work. And while I'm doing a consult, my energy cranks right up. So I keep going, but I'm not like a puppet, but I'm being cranked up so I can do the job. Um, kind of helps me enjoy the consults. Um, but I'm aware 
that being outside of the body, I'm a lot stronger than when I'm in the body because the body slows us down. So as you relax and open up, flow within to flow out. Been saying that for years. That that is how you power up. You can power up your body and move energy through your body. That's powering up. But you have to relax in order to let yourself loose. So you can build up a lot of energy inside your body, folks. But, you know, the real power is flowing right outside of your body. It's building up the, inf the affirmations within your mind to move the energy through your body. Remember, everyone's got a huge filter on the top of their crown, and that's where the rest of your energy, it, it emanates through your skin and everything, comes out of your body everywhere, but the, real, the big part of you is coming out of your crown. That goes through that filter, so the big part of you outside of your body does not get any of those emotions and start going nuts, otherwise it'd really be crazy. Um, then the heart puts out a magnetic field from it that goes out everywhere, right from the heart, just comes out. Your body's more intricate than you think. So, anyway, folks. Um, don't let the fact that that's confusing hinder you from moving forward with it. Okay? Um, the stronger you are, the better your life is, the easier your life is, and the more we can help others. Those of you that listen to me, almost all of you, are anxious to help others. We're talking for a reason. I'm doing the best I can to give you everything I can while in body. When I'm out, I can just talk to you all. It's, you know, it's easy. As you start, and, as you start, as your abilities start to awaken, you become aware of more which enhances further awakening of your body and becoming aware of more. It's just, and the more aware you are, the quicker you're gonna awaken it. It's the two work together. It's, it's not the same thing, but it's somewhat similar to the heart producing a feeling, and then the heart and the hypothalamus gland uh, producing uh, understanding. Uh, it's very similar. They know how serious a person I am Please take the time not to be serious. Please take the time to laugh. Laugh at yourself. It doesn't hurt anyone. And if, if you know, don't beat yourself up and think negative about yourself, but have a laugh. And you don't worry about it. We all do silly things. Just try not to call them overly stupid because then you're pushing on yourself. Don't say stupid, stupid, stupid to yourself because you're not. Okay? Please don't do that to yourself. And it's definitely going to hurt your awakening. Okay. Um, this new energy I have with me, it's like a personal trainer. It's helping my memory a little bit, um, but it's it, um, there's more of me coming out. The process is, in a soft way, disorienting, um, a little bothersome, um, but at the same time, because it's more me out of me, my memory's a little better. My memory's not really good, but my memory's better. Um, why? Because what do you do when you go to uh, when you go into your quote unquote memory? Supposedly, what are you really doing? Uh, like I've told you all for a long time now, a little over two thirds of the time you try to remember something, you're actually using your metaphysical abilities to go back in time and look at it. There's no file and cabinet in there. Okay, you're just using your abilities to go see it. Some of you, especially those that you, uh, those of you that are more of um, uh, solar plexus and core energy oriented, um, you go right through the crown, get it through the uh, um, what they call the Akashic record. So all it is is energy that's out there. It's part of the uh, the source field. Okay, um, right now it's it's around around here and not just here. I mean way out there. Um, it's part of uh, the energy in me. Part of what I. It's part of me. Whatever. I try not to say stuff. It's like, I'm not trying to make this about me, but look, it, it is what it is. So what? You know, people get upset. They go, blah, 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 whatever, screw them. Um, 
I don't really care. I, I want to, I'll always help him and take care of him every way I can. And I do that when I'm out of my body a whole lot, but I can't do, none of us can be a, 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 a teeny part of a percent what we really are. Well, okay, more than that. But anyway, um, none of us can come close to being uh, maybe just a little, actually, a little over 1% of what we are is all we can be when we're in a body. Uh, I keep telling you all, man, you have no idea who you really are. I'm not calling you dumb. I'm not saying you're ignorant. I'm just saying you don't, well, you're ignorant to the, to the fact of who you really are because you're so huge, awesome. Uh, I've kind of tethered back and forth on some, on, um, for a while about fear, about excuse me, um, about there being one emotion, and that's fear, excuse me, but um, you say, well, I get anger about something, and I don't see any fear involved, uh, I've told you before that your personal DNA is kind of like a prom, programmable read-only uh, memory, because it does, it's like an old prom. It has a database of information there. And when your emotions start kicking up in your base, the DNA is the it's, it's 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 those that energy is in that area of your spine that goes up and down through the core. Like I said, when when your emotions get kicked up real hard, the base chakra it screws up your crown. You can't control it. Uh, that's going on through your body, folks, and that's touching DNA everywhere. So that's how anger can crank up like this. Now, Jay said that it was uh, really basically one uh, uh, emotion, and it's fear. Well, what the hell? What's going on with the anger? Um, I see someone beating on someone, and my anger cranks up, and, you know, I just want to go beat the hell out of them. I'm not afraid of them. <coughs> okay, when, excuse me, when these uh, bodies first started. Uh, there was emotion that would come from the base chakra that was fear. If you think of it, when uh, if you want to protect someone and your anger builds up right away, super quick, you don't realize that it actually comes from fear. Why? You have a fear that someone you love or care about or the injustice is being done will be done to someone. That actually is a part of fear. But from these bodies being around so long, haven't had so many lives, it's programmed into the DNA of your bodies that the, 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 the fear gets cranked, gets touched on. It's like a spark, and it immediately flows right into protection, aggression. Um, so it's happening so quick, you can't even, you don't even notice it. But that's because the DNA understands that particular frequency of emotion and it goes, of fear, and it goes right into uh, anger. So uh, those of you that want to look at that, you know, realistically later, you'll see it for yourself. Um, but wh however you want to look at it, these are emotions. This is cut. It's that. This is emotional output. Love. You, you would think it's an emotion, but it's not. It's a feeling. Okay. Uh, when you meet someone right away and you're attracted to them, uh, you could be in a body, and they could be in a body with this mutual history, DNA, and that can actually get you excited, strong towards each other. You could also be having angels, uh, your own personal angels, what used to, they don't exist. Uh, there's a few of them that exist and are really cool. The rest of them haven't killed. Okay, anyway, so you have your spirit guides where they, this, these angels aren't around anymore, except for the, some really cool ones. Um, and they're staying away from being around people. That's part of the deal. Um, they're becoming themselves and having their own lives now or existence, whether they have a life or not, doesn't matter. They do what they want, and that's going to be dealt with later, not now. So anyway, you have the spirit guides are working with you, um, which is you when you're not in the body trying to help a friend who's having a life, um, who's stuck in a body suffering. Oh, we have nice days. We have good days. Good. We have to. You know, otherwise, uh, 10 years old, we'd all be committing suicide. Anyway, uh, 
so uh, uh, they can put some energy in your spine you know when you're supposed to be with someone this is a person and softly allowed to go up but the the old angels used to crank up your energy the base of your spine and literally put their energy right through your spine and it would crank up the endorphins in your spine you go oh and there you go um, praise God oh you know that's that, that was them um, if it's if if you're supposed to be around a long time and you're not supposed to die at an early age then guess what those angels will make sure that you never get hit by that car coming right at you um, there have been miraculous saves by angels true that's because you were still supposed to be in that body a while longer to suffer more uh, maybe you needed to have a life where you weren't suffering so much that doesn't happen often, but it it had it does happen or had ha, has happened. So, uh, and you need to stay in the body and be happy. So, and it's, when it's time for you to die, they kill you. They set it up, make it happen, boom, dead next. Um, anyway, uh, so the DNA that's in your bodies has a lot to do with how you handle emotions fear and what comes from it anger and everything else but there's already something of a program related to that in your dna that doesn't mean a strong emotion is not going to override what's in your dna again this goes back to fight or flight um, there's a car coming in the road get the hell out um someone's just pulled a knife on you Oh my God, what do I do? Oh my great God, what do I do? <laughs> Go get on your knees and pray. See how that does. Um, uh, either, you, either you're going to run or you're going to immediately attack the person. Your uh, adrenaline cranks up real hard. So anything like that, you just, it's not that your um, DNA doesn't have an, a, you know, isn't related to that, doesn't affect it, it does, but there's an immediate override when there's immediate need for action because of a situation that could cause you harm. Uh, fight or flight is part of DNA. But uh, it doesn't, uh, the DNA has a stronger effect on controlling what happens with uh, your emotional input that goes into your heart, the emotions in the base chakra, um, when it has a little more time to look at something. And uh, that can just be seconds, you know, it's, or it's second actually, but the main thing I want you to know about emotions is it's an intense impulse, bam, that goes into your body, through your body, and if it's allowed to be maintained, it'll literally rattle you and vibrate you apart. Some of you are in bodies where that's almost the case. Uh, I've met people that were abducted and messed with, and um, they're hurt. Um, now, having said all this, but, uh, uh, and then there's the body with the DNA everything and everything else in there. Uh, DNA has its own physical um, imprint of memories and reactionary memories towards different things. And it, it's got a memory of how to react to different things. It's just built in. It happens as the bodies keep growing. Um, wow, I could talk for hours just on covering all that stuff explicitly. All of us go back to time. I've told you that many times. You can literally go back into time every time you go to remember something that's important uh well a little over two-thirds of the time you go to remember something you're actually going back in time to look at it so that's why people that are solar plexus oriented and use a scanner usually can have a, something of a photographic memory it's easier for them to do it than someone who's pineal based or heart based so I take a, a piece of star essonite, which loves getting cranked up. I take a piece of star essonite, I'd hold it, put myself in it, crank it up, relax. As I'm holding it, relax and just take off and go through space. And look at just literally go through space, look at everything, remember it, and then put that into the, that memory into the stone. 
And then I'd hand it to people that, I wouldn't tell anyone, I handed it to people that were sensitive, they could feel it, and they'd, whoa, I just saw stars. <laughs> I love doing this, it's so cool. Um, I can't recall, I have no, next to no memory, I can't go in and out of stuff like that. It does, I'm, my, what I am is too absorbed in what it's doing, it's too locked into what it's doing. I can't just move around and I haven't been able to ask project a long time because uh, I'm stationary and I'm not going to go there right now. And when you see something a little different than someone else, there's not, no one's wrong. No one's wrong. Look a little deeper and see why you see it like that because every individual brain has certain images locked in. Okay? It's like a database. It's not so much a memory of a big event, but it is a memory of a certain kind of image and stuff. And that's what we have to use to understand what we see as energy. Energy you can't see with the physical eyes. We need something physical to relate to, to relate the experience to our conscious minds. Okay? And then communicate with each other. Um, even telepathy has a, a small amount of that. The rest is all just... It's, it's a large amount of that, but it, it's... I'm talking about that finite, finite imagery. Tele telepathy is so much more than that, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, and it's a natural thing, so, you know. So, anyway, um, a lot of people, when I first started doing this, thought that when I tell you at the end of the video that I love you, that's... Well, I don't know what they even call them. It's the catchphrase or something or others. I don't know that I did it. Um, it's about getting the public's attention or something. I don't know. I, I don't even think like that. Um, I, I don't hold on to a thought like that because it's useless to me. I am what I am. And when you don't lie, you don't need a memory. It's amazing. Solar plexus people want to see like a pineal. A pineal people want to have the faith and trust that the solar plexus, but yet all of us are looking for the whole thing. Um, you have a good memory about remembering things, about, you know, something you've seen or something like that. Uh, that's uh, more so the normal people that, uh, because your solar plexus energy being strong. Um, and you're not just solar plexus, but it's the strongest one of your fields all of us have all the fields going a lot of people think crystals are high vibration they're not they're something else but they let other vibrations go through them while retaining a mirror image of it that can be seen it's not mirror backwards but it is like a what we would consider a mirror image um a reflection is what i'm trying to say but it stays in there it's not backwards, it's straight on. It's a way to form a whole memory. That's why even some of your ET video, I mean, uh, sci-fi things, they talk about crystals holding stuff. It's because they do. I I don't go on a ship to see that. I don't have, I can, I have. I don't need to. I see it inside the crystal. I talked I don't know, over a year ago. I don't know exactly when. I can't remember stuff. Um... I needed my brain to function for to do what it does uh, and not have as much of a, what do they call that, cognitive uh, recall, uh, you know, immediate uh, memory. We do have a like, a like a filing system, memory banks in our mind, but it's not that much. Two-thirds of the time you go to see something to remember, you actually go in through uh, time to see it. Um, and, you know, those of you that listen to me, you know I'm not talking about you open up a door and you portal and you go somewhere. <laughs> um, if you're looking for that, though, you're going to be very dissatisfied all your life. Well, as long as you're looking for it. Um, but that's how you go. You do go through time. It's yourself, spirit, sentient energy. When I've held up stones, I've proven that large piece of selenite, hold it up like this, relax, tell you to relax, calm down. Help you breathe a little bit and then say, go ahead and go into the stone. Go grab, come to the stone, feel it, see what you feel. And people start actually, those that can feel stone, start feeling it right away. Uh, those that can't, they can feel it later. It's just a matter of trying. And the next thing you know, you feel it. Where do your thoughts come from? 
Where do your independent thoughts come from? It comes from sentient energy, number one. Electricity doesn't have thoughts, it's energy. Sentient energy, which is spirit, is what produces thought. Okay? Now, there's the spirit that came that's inside you, that's part of the, uh, that was originally part of Gaia, the planet, female uh, planetary, planetary essence, which is female universal essence. Okay? Now, uh, also there's you, the spirit that's put inside the body. Okay? Now you have a memory. You have memory inside your DNA, which uh, will lean you one way or the other. Okay, it softly affects the solar plexus. Um, uh, sometimes it goes a little deeper, but it can go through from the solar plexus into the core <clears throat> and give you uh, like little warnings about stuff. Okay, um, but your thoughts come from the two spirits within your body, who you are. Okay, now they also come from stuff on the other side touching your head. Okay, maybe some loose souls running around putting their, uh, attaching themselves to your head. And if you get three or four of them on there, they can start running you and everything. But uh, they can't run you 24-7. But they can have a major influence on decisions that you make. But the second you make them, you can say, what the hell, that wasn't me. Uh, source can do that too, uh, very easily. But they can do a lot more than that. And then uh, essence can be a problem too. But folks, you're not going to, when you're being worked on, which is almost all the time, because it's time for people to wake up. Even the stupid st source on the other side that wants things to be about them, they want you awake because they want you to understand that the original ones are dead, they're the new gods and everything else. And there's not many of those. There are some left and they'll be taken care of as soon as they get the hell out of here. Okay, so uh, where do your thoughts come from? Who do they belong to? Uh, um, well, uh, there's the three different variables. The, the, the main part of the major part of your conscious mind, not all of it, more than half of it. Uh, hey, Herky, love you, buddy. Um, comes from the uh, left side of your brain. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be done in a minute, buddy. Um, comes from the conscious side of the brain, left side of the brain, um, for the most part. Uh, you just, that's stuff that's relative to your body, what your body needs, your health, and everything else. Other things more spiritual in nature, in nature are going to be coming from you inside, who, who you are as spirit, okay? Uh, and then, like I said, the third thing is other stuff hitting you. It's up to you to try to relax Take a deep breath, calm down, just let everything go and feel. You've never had so little aggressive stuff towards you in your lives. But you've never been worked on so hard as you are now because your brain's getting worked on to help evolve you. The field is doing it to you. I'm in every single thing on this planet and more. I per My energy permeates through you. It's working on you. Just relax. If you are getting work done and you're not always frantic, but all of a sudden you feel something about malice, look into it. Don't you, when you freak out, you lose everything. Okay, if you gotta freak out, just go jump in front of a train. Okay, end it, end your misery. Those of you that listen to me, you're not here for that. You're here to stand up because you're strong. You were sent to me for a reason, to become yourself. Because you're a leader, you're gonna help people understand. But first, we have to wake up ourselves. I went through it. I went through eight years of total hell, still going through it. Uh, now, would you want to be able to see who's poking you? If someone trips you while you're walking, don't you want to see who tripped you? It's an honest question. It's also very simple, excuse me, and very basic. Why wouldn't you? Sometimes people will say ignorance is bliss. Well, it's good not for things. It's good for things not to haunt you when there's nothing you can do about it. But personally, I want knowledge. I want understanding. I, knowledge is data. I want the data to create my own understanding of everything that exists everywhere that I need to deal with. And I deal with things on that scale, on the everything scale. You can't be conscious, when you're in a human body, you can't be conscious of hardly anything. Okay? And that includes me. The stronger you are, the more you can do, but 
it, it's it's not even a t it's about a tenth of tenth of a percent, depending on how you look at it. What exactly you're talking about? Between a tenth of a percent and one percent is a maximum of yourself that you can move through your body. That's how slow. That's how thick these bodies are, and how they slow down uh, and absorb and. Uh, um, Uh, take your frequencies and just keep them from uh, flowing. Why do you think you don't understand past lives? Why do you think you know memory can be a bit of an issue? Um, this is why you don't un understand who you really are. You can't appreciate who you really are. Now somebody there's there can be people who are really proud of themselves and they say I understand myself he doesn't know what he's talking about well if you understood what I'm talking about if you could get to that point then a whole new world is going to open up to you um, if someone if someone over here awakens before someone over here this person is no better than that person it was just a different wake up time so what but he did it at this age, I did it at my age, so what? It doesn't matter. This is relative to what's happening everywhere at one time, plus the time that you will put in the body. I mean, it's just, everyone is in such competition with each other, it's so sad. You were made to be like that, why? To keep you frustrated, to keep you fighting. Because the more you were stressed, the more your spirit is stressed out in the body, the bigger you get when you when you come out of it. And the original first being was growing you all like that. And those of you, especially those that are in solar plexus and waking up, it's hardest for you to talk with spirit and understand, know, see, feel, um, see things um, than anyone else. Those room, the room cards, this is my beat up pack I got over here. I've used in videos and stuff. These things are awesome. Then there's the DVD that uh, right now it looks like this. These are just the CDs that I printed out so I'd have a copy on the back of it. I scribble it out, but that's what it looks right now. Like right now, it'll be something similar, but a little better. Um, and that'll help you better than anything else. Uh, solar plexus, because it's buried within your core, it, you do things naturally you don't even understand. Your incredible memory, nine times out of ten, that's your solar plexus energy. Your memory, your ability to remember uh, something when you see it, photographic memory, that always comes from uh, over 98% 90, of the time. It comes from uh, your going back and using your scanner through the solar plexus to go back in time and look at it and you see it really clearly. You get better high definition pictures with your scanner than you do your pineal. The imagery is more high definition, but the pineal is what goes through all these multiple uh, dimensions. So That's why when I crank people up, I take the crank of the pineal, then I crank up the scanner, and then I blend the two fields together. Helps them out. And the biggest thing about that is learning how to trust what you're seeing. People see stuff and immediately deny it. Why? Because that's what you raised. When you see something physical with your eyes, it's easy to know what it is and you have a memory for it. But when something's metaphysical, there's no memory for it because you can't see it with your physical eyes. So you have to use images from your life, from this life, to best try to understand what you're seeing metaphysically. Your physical body with DNA has got its own quote-unquote set of uh, uh, biological memory banks in it. It affects how you think and react to things. Um, and then you have spirit that's been abused as hell with you that originally came from the planet, planetary essence. That's smaller than you, about usually about 40% of your core, of your dual spirit core is you, is uh, uh, this spirit, and 60% is you uh, on that just a, a gen, generic average. Um, but that's essence. That's powerful. 
your thought processes are you okay but you know what a lot of control that your body has is not some people get along great with the core some p people don't try some nuts and then saying, oh, I hear voices. Good. As long as it's, you know, not a chemical imbalance and you're being beat, beat up, put through hell. The DNA in your body has encoded memories, has encoded information. It's almost like a, a prom, pro, an old prom, programmable read-only memory. I'm just, my memory is always been rough and a guy came to me one time and said I got to take more of your memory because you need more of your brain for your energy to reside in to do your work through your body and I said okay just you know take the shitty memories please